a little bit about her show. You were looking at that clip saying, oh, we kept messing up. You look great up there. No, you know it's because we just had uh, Luis Enrique start his run on Broadway, who's the, the Prince of Salsa. And now that we've done maybe like five or six shows together, it's so much better. It's so like, well, you know, Figured out, everybody moves in the right place, I mean, and that was the first time. That. We're all sitting there going, "There, <laughs> looking fantastic." Are you kidding me? It's it's a fabulous show. Thank you. It's like you got to check it out. It's so emotional, and people like after after the show, they all come up like, "Oh, we're gonna go, you know, learn tango. We're gonna go for a romantic dinner." It brings out things in you that, you know, that a show should like that. Absolutely. What is it like doing? You do what? Eight shows a week. Yes. So it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot different than Dancing with the Stars, where you've got a lot of rehearsal time, but only one day of performance. Here, you yes. perform almost every day, right? Yes, but it's it's kind of because we do the same dances. It's the same show, more or less, unless we change the you know the singer. But uh, for the most part, it's the same numbers, and they only get better because you get more practice eight times a week. It's pretty good practice. Yeah. <laughs> and you're practicing with somebody that uh, you know his moves. You're yes. back with Maxim. <laughs> on stage at least in this situation. Now, how difficult was it to once more be in his arms? You know, it was very difficult because the opportunity, uh, when opportunity presented itself to be again on Broadway, um, and they said bring a partner, I knew that Max and I could have that passion that was necessary for the tango, but I wasn't sure I wanted to open that Pandora box mm -hmm. again. But now it's, uh, it's kind of gotten us closer and uh, we great friends that, you know, we haven't talked for four years before the show. Mm. Like, nothing nice, at least. Right. <laughs> whatever, whatever we were saying, it wasn't nice at all. But now we, we're good. We're good again. Any spark? Um, you know what? We've, we've tried that. It didn't work out. So at this point, I think we're better off as friends. But okay. so much of what you do on stage, I mean, especially with salsa and with tango, is intimate. It, by yes. definition, it's intimate. You're mm -hmm. on stage. Your bodies are together. <laughs> How do you leave that on stage, then? Um, well, we tap into something that's somewhat familiar to both of us, and then we leave it on that dance floor. <laughs> Speaking of dancing, let's go back to Dancing with the Stars. Yes. You know I thought you were going to win the last one, you oh, know? Oh, thank you. You got to the finals. Were you shocked when they didn't call your name? Um, no, because, you know, like, you, you watch other finalists, um, and you see how much they uh, put in into getting ready for the finals. And... You know, I I kind of feel energy-wise, you know when you've done enough to win the trophy, and sometimes you know where you've came just a little too short. Well, Jacoby was kind of hot now, though. Oh, he's, yeah. he's brilliant. <laughs> he's so good, and he's doing so great now. He passed all his tests. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. 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 And how was he as, as a partner? Was he a good learner, quick learner? He was very funny, very entertaining, um, sometimes very quick to get tired. You'd think that athletes would have, like, incredible stamina. No, right. that's not the case. They're very fast, they're very good, but they only do it for short periods of time, right. not, not for, like, eight hours a day. But we had a blast, and we're still really good friends, and hopefully he's going to come out, see me on Broadway, and I'm going to go support him in his games. How long... Have you done Dancing with the Stars now? How many seasons? Uh, well, we are about to start season 17. Wow. That's wow. pretty crazy. I know, but it hasn't been 17 years. Right, it's been 17, 17 TV seasons. Yes, mm -hmm. well, which is we have two per year, so it's not as crazy. When we come back, can I ask her all about which, which partner in all of these 17 oh, you can. seasons? You can, you can totally dig. Yeah, because I do <laughs> want to know that. <laughs> all of these seasons. Want to. Uh, uh. All right, we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Star's going to get into it. She's going to tear uh -huh. it open. And ask Karina anything she wants right after the burn on Broadway and of course dancing with the stars and star has got she's got some questions to ask you about dancing with the stars. This is the whole this is my dance with the stars moment, so I get to ask all the ones I want to know. In 17 seasons, who's been your very favorite partner? Ooh. And I know the time's like picking a kid. Exactly, exactly. And because they're all different. I mean, Jacoby was amazing this season. Ralph Macho, he's ah. still a very dear friend of mine. And we talk every week. We just did a movie together in December. So the whole Macho clan, as a matter of fact, I think I like Phyllis more than Ralph, his wife. Huh? I must say, <laughs> she, she's an angel. Uh, but I mean, J.L. Martinez, 
It, Mario Lopez was great. He was a great partner. Yeah, you've got some yeah, good partners. She really, yeah. she really has. Who surprised you the most? Uh, somebody you didn't know coming in, and then you got to know them, and they were totally different than you expected. Um, I think Rocket the Spirit has surprised me quite a bit because he came in. You know, he's Italian. Italian people love to dance, and he's like, "I'm always the last person off the floor." And I was like, "Yay, that's awesome!" And and yeah, no. And no. Uh, no. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. You might want to do a little bit more <laughs> yeah, practice. Yeah, you might want right. to be like one of the first ones off. <laughs> so now, well, I'm always fascinated in what dances you all do. Hmm. So what dance is the hardest to sort of mask of, uh, the, from the tango to the salsa to the more swing dances? Um, I think jive is definitely one of mm -hmm. the tougher ones because it's so fast and mm -hmm. you got to be soft yet very sharp. Um, but a lot of ballroom dances become difficult for celebrities because of the frame. They have to hold the frame throughout, and that's never easy. And especially when you have, like, big height difference, like with me and Jacoby. Yeah. <laughs> the frame was a little upsided <laughs> to his side. Who's your dream partner? Somebody that's not been on the show yet um, that well, you love I, to dance I've with? I've said before I wanted to dance with Keanu Reeves. Um, I don't think he's gotten the message. And then I've been saying I really want to dance with Corbin Blue because I've seen him um, at the Make-A-Wish Foundation event, and uh, I've seen him dancing in the Heights and on Broadway, and he's incredible. Yeah. So I think he's got, he's got the edge to do really well on the show. Karina, I don't want to let you go before you talk a little bit about some of your background, which I find fascinating. You grew up an only child. Yes. <laughs> and so there were big expectations put on your shoulders. But there's a lot of young girls out there who are maybe listening now, teenagers, young adult women, that are in the same situation. Give us some of your motivations. What did you use to sort of push you forward? You know, my parents, um, they did put me into a lot of different things, and they, um, they didn't expect me to succeed in all of them, but they said, if you're not going to give you 100%, don't expect 100% results. And the, the fear of not being necessarily reprimanded or punished, but to disappoint them was what kind of drove me to mm -hmm. try my mm -hmm. hardest. And, you know, even now sometimes, you know, we would get, like, the perfect score in Dancing with the Stars, but I would look over at my mom and my dad, and if they, like, mm -hmm, they do one of those smiles, I go, oh, no, they're going to give me their full opinion in about five minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you never have to use real discipline with a kid. You just no. show them the I'm um, disappointed. Exactly. Yeah, right? Well, it's, you know, they give you so much when you're a child. They give you their life, their everything. So you want to be able to make them proud. Uh, you make them proud. I am guarantee you that. Thank yeah. you Thank so you. much for being with us. Thank